celebrate good times. Come on. Let's celebrate. They all outside. Celebrate good times. Come on. Oh, let's celebrate. You know, there's a party. Go Wait. Oh, y'all are here? Uh, uh, recess is over? Oh, I'm oh I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no! I was uh, I'm getting ready for a talent show later. No, that's not what I do when you guys are gone. No no, I'm getting ready for a talent show. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a talent 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 show. Okay, all right. Let's get to the next topic. Okay, children, we talked about tax topic four fifty three. The last video. Now lesson number three. 1099C. Get that? Lesson number three, 1099C. Lesson number three, 1099. There you go. See, it's a song. Okay, hold on. Here we go. IRS tax topic. No. No, we just talked about that. Why are y'all trying to confuse me? 1099C. Okay, now we're going to click right here. You've been hearing a lot of people talk about the 1099A. I don't know why. But they keep talking about it, okay? So we're going to let y'all know something because y'all needs to know. Y'all needs to know. Y'all needs to know. Get out of here. You got to go. We don't want you here. They just show up when we don't want them. Okay, look. File your 1099-C for each debtor whom you canceled $600 or more of debt owed to you if you are an applicable financial entity or an identified event has occurred. Well, they owe me a debt. They haven't paid. So that's an identifiable event. Got to turn this off. That's what the problem was. Voice recognition. So we got to get rid of it. it. It just keeps interfering. And that's what it won't even turn off right now. I don't know what's going on with it. It's stupid. That's what it is. Hold on, children. Oh, there it is. It's gone. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to slap it backwards and forth. Oh, you want to get really pimp slapped, don't you? Gonna just keep coming on because you feel like it, huh? In front of these kids right here? You know you don't do that in front of company. How dare you? Get out of here. Nobody wants to see y'all no more. Okay, we're gonna kick on 1099C. Okay? 1099C. Ain't about no 1099 This 1099C. You gotta read all the instructions. It's 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 just not that much instructions, but you're gonna read it, okay? All right, now let's say we got a lawsuit and our lawsuit is against the Federal Reserve. So right up here. We put, not the Federal Reserve, no, 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 no. We are the creditor. Uh-oh. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's it's doing whatever it wants to do right now. Do you see that? It's just, it's like the voice recognition is still going. I didn't tell it to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit. Huh? Okay, children, no, 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 calm down. No, I know, I know, I know, but it's okay. You shouldn't get all excited over some stupid stuff like that. No, it was stupid the way the system did. Okay, do you want to learn this or not? Then sit down and shut up and stop all that laughing in the back of the class. Okay? And those of y'all who said my mama, your mama. Okay, hold on. All right, now watch this. Use the creditor. Okay, when you have somebody owing you a debt, use be the creditor. So you put your information up here. First, last, middle, all capital letters. You're not doing it as a person, doing it as a business. Only businesses get to get credit for this. So all capital letter name, the same way it is on that, that, that piece of junk identification that the government agencies give you. And the address and everything. Put that right there. Does, you can use P.O. Box. Could you can use P.O. Box? Read the instructions. I'm sorry. Then you're going to put your EIN number, social security number with one dash, first two numbers dash, you can do that, that's legal, go ahead, if you don't believe me, go ahead and look up 31 CFR 363.20, and you will see, okay, now, for the debtor, you put in the bank's name in Google, and then put comma, all capital letters, E-I-N, then a question mark. And look for the E-I-N and no search results. And you'll put that there. And then you will put their address and information here. You'll do this online. There are several websites that allow you to do it online. They only cost less than $5 per form. Okay? And don't worry about the account number. It, it will ask you. This is optional. Okay, then you put the date of the event. You can do event, you know events when you go to a concert or something? 
Okay, you'll put whenever something occurred, when you recognize, when you ask them, give me back my money. You put that date or you put the date that the contract was initiated. Doesn't matter. You put a date there. Okay, now you put the amount of the amount that you're forgiven. See, you're canceling the debt. Now, remember, this form is for information purposes only. Instructions. This is general instructions for certain information returns. For informational purposes only. You're just notifying the IRS of, an, uh, uh, of something informational. Now, me, I don't put no interest ever. And then you put the year. See, 1099C. They don't already have the year on them anymore. You, when you get the forms now, they don't have the year. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Okay. Then you put the description of the debt, contractual obligation, whatever you want to put, read the instructions. I put contractual obligations. That right there, that's it. And then right here, I check this box is yet yeah, responsible. Okay. See, you, you won't let me check it here, but on the form, it'll let me check it. When I do 1099C online, it lets me check it. And then right here, identifiable event. Where's an identifiable event? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the instructions right here, number six. It tells us to show one of these. So there are two of them that I check. Remember I said by agreement, contractual agreement? There you go, number F. Or G, hey, I made the choice to discontinue collection on this debt. Ta-da! G or F is what I end up putting. And then for the fair market, my, I'm going to put that amount right up there. If the valuation has changed, I'm going to put that amount right there. And that's it. The form done. I ain't got to do nothing else. Oh, oh, and then I'm going to send nobody a copy. Why won't I send somebody a copy? Well, watch this. This is what the banks do so you can follow do what they do you can do what they do you can do what they do you can do what they do equal protection of law so we're going to go here and we're going to type in we're going to do a control f and we're going to type in until you in t i l there's going to show up four times this is one exceptions there's an exception to the rule until further guidance is issued no penalty will apply for failure to file a 1099 c or to provide statements to the debtors for any amount any amount there's no 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 so and you are a non-lending transaction they just owe you a debt or forgiveness under the terms of a contract. Okay? You're forgiving the debt. So you don't have to send them a copy. So don't send the recipient a copy if you don't want to. I don't send the recipient a copy because the law doesn't require. They can't penalize me for it. They can't say nothing. They can sit back, have a coconut smile, and go smoke that other piece of crack that they forgot to smoke last week. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot how old you kids were. I'm sorry. That, no, that's what I do. That's what I explain to the adult class. Oh, I am so sorry. No, don't report me to your parents. That was a mistake. I was I, 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 I just having a flashback. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies and gentlemen, when you're filling out a 1099C, it's the opposite. If you want to show proof that the debt's forgiven, because you're going to help the bank out. Why? Well, let's say I have a mortgage and the bank is saying I owe them money and I know that the note was negotiated and it was a negotiable instrument. So the bank didn't give me my 1099C, but they say I'm in debt and they say it's been greater than six months and it's more than $600. And since until further notice, there will be no penalty. Well, guess what? Until further notice, guess what? They don't have to send me a copy. Wait, hold on. That's that's one. We, we got only a couple of seconds here. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Four times until further notice. Nobody gets penalized. So I'm going to do it for the bank. We have a partnership, partners. We're partners in this arrangement. We're going to talk about partnerships next. But we're partners. And because we're partners, I'm going to fill it out for them. That's right. I'm going to do so. I don't want them getting in trouble. So I'm going to fill it out for them because we're partners and we have an agreement. So, yes, I'm allowed to do that because we have an agreement. I'm the grantor of the contract. And so I'm going to fill it out for them. And I'm going to put myself down as the debtor, put them as the creditor, and I'm going to have myself sent the copy as the recipient. And once I have that copy, I'm going to send it to the credit reporting bureaus because they cannot report a debt. Not like that. Got to go, y'all.